What is going on guys, Tomcat here, and today I'm bringing you guys the very first Xbox One gameplay on my channel. Now, as you can see, Forza Motorsport 5 is in the disc tray, and it says it's ready to start, it's 28% installed, but we can go ahead and start it now. And, uh, I know I was kind of thinking about doing an unboxing video, but then I figured everybody's gonna do an unboxing video, and I would rather focus on the game, I really would, I'd rather focus on the games, and the actual gameplay of the console. So, let's go ahead and start up Forza 5, because I have never, ever, ever played it before. This is my very first time. Uh, I haven't played it at any stores or events. This is the very first time I have ever touched this game. So, this is these are my uh, li literal first time impressions of this, of this game. Turn 10 logo as usual. I don't know if you guys can hear that in the background, but my, like, Facebook notifications are blowing up all of a sudden. Alright, press A to start. Good grief, that P1 is beautiful! Absolutely beautiful, guys. Um, couldn't sync your data with the cloud just now. Uh, oh god. Seriously? Um, whatever, we'll just, we'll just go ahead without it. I guess I'll, I'll hopefully I'll be able to change that later on. Welcome to Forza Motorsport 5. Alright, uh, brightness adjustment. Let's see. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Cars. To some, they're just transport. A convenient alternative to highly flammable dirigibles or walking. But you, you understand, cars are far more than this. They are our history. They mark the moments by which we define decades. Cars are some of the most intoxicating, most beautiful things ever forged by mankind. They represent the glory of technology, the essence of freedom, and have been the weapons in some of our most gripping sporting battles. They grip us, they cheer us on, they hold us up as heroes. So this is about the love of all things four-wheeled and fast. This is a shrine to power, to speed, to metal made beautiful. This is where dreams are driven. Welcome to Forza. Oh yes. Oh yes. That was the best intro ever. The absolute best intro I have ever seen. That thing had racing footage in it. It had actual Top Gear footage in there. Oh my god. Absolutely, absolutely amazing. Just amazing. Oh man, can't wait for this to load up! I'm like, feeling crazy right now, because I've been waiting so long for this. Ever since the launch trailer. Well, not the launch trailer, like, ever since the very first announcement was made. Now is your chance to explore the McLaren P1 up close. Oh my god. Dang, look at that detail! It's intense! Oh my god! Just walking around it right now. Look at that! Look at this! I mean, it's Auto Vista as we know, but the detail in the carbon! Oh my god! And that sound! I love the P1 so much. Alright, we are officially driving Forza 5. So, let me actually go ahead and pause it for just a second. So, I can actually adjust my volume just a tiny little bit. Uh, it won't affect the, vo uh, the volume in the video, but it'll just affect the volume for, for what I'm hearing, so... Oh god! 
Break, break, break. Oh my god, dude, these vibrating triggers are amazing. Oh, yes. The steering feels like, it feels a lot more, um, oh god. Yeah, that wasn't good. I actually, yeah, we can use rewind. And you can still change view in rewind. Uh, there we go. I mean, I can tell we've got a lot of assists on right now, and that's one of the other reasons why I paused, was to see if you could actually turn them off. <laughs> see ya, Mrosi. I remember you. I remember you. Yeah, you gave me a lot of, uh, a lot of headaches in Forza 4. And Forza 3. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Dang, this detail. It's incredible. Just beyond incredible. Oh my god. Come on, come on, bring it around. Zip. Yeah, I could tell it's got auto braking on, and auto braking is actually really frustrating sometimes. But well, no, not not sometimes, all the time, because I drive with no assists. So having something like auto braking on is actually really uh, annoying. But hopefully, hopefully, I'll be able to just go and turn it off after this. It's even got, like, this weird auto-steering on, too, so it's, it's... I think that's the reason why in all those tech demos it was looking strange, was probably because of that weird auto this weird auto-steering. But the game does look good, and I don't know if, if, like, some of the graphical discrepancies I'm seeing are because of the fact... I don't know if I'm just seeing those because the game hasn't fully installed yet, or what? I mean, I'm seeing a couple of graphical discrepancies in the, uh, in the, uh, the environment, but, I mean, I can look past that, because the detail in the, on the track, the, the buildings, the people, the car itself, is absolutely out of this world incredible. Absolutely in insane. New badge and title unlocked, as well as an achievement. Welcome to Forza Motorsport. My very first... Xbox One achievement, and you can see the little scratches there on the car after the race. That's pretty cool. Race is only a taste of the journey ahead of you. As we continue, you will traverse an epic automotive world full of fast cars, old rivalries, and new technology. All right, I'm so ready to pick my first car. This is gonna be insane. I think I know. I've I've got a pretty good idea of what I want to pick, but I think it's gonna be down to two cars. Leagues are home to a wide variety of cars, from vintage to sport to grand touring. Your career starts with the Modern Sport Compact Championship Series. But before you choose your car, let's learn more about the group from BBC's Top Gear. All right. When, in 2012, Mr. Toyota and Mrs. Subaru announced the arrival of their twins, GT86 and BRZ, the world rejoiced. Here were two cars designed not to save the planet, nor to take your entire extended family to the seaside in a modular lounge environment. No, they were designed to make you smile. They were small, lightweight, skinny tired, rear drive and affordable. This was the beginning of a new age for sporty motoring. Only it wasn't. If you looked hard enough, there have always been affordable cars designed to brighten up your day. Mazda especially is always provided for the enthusiastic driver. That's why it made the simple, wonderful MX-5 and the RX-8. The Honda S2000, meanwhile, is a complete screamer, and it's possible the same applies to the Hyundai Genesis. But I'm not sure, as it's only sold in Korea and the United States. Select your first car from this list and begin your career. Time to pick a new car. Best racing in the world, so choose the car that speaks to you. All right, BRZ. It's gonna be, I think, really to me, uh, it's gonna be. Mm, well, no, it's it's gonna be either the FRS, well, GT86 FRS, whatever one call it, uh, or the uh, the Miata MX5. Because this is the new one. This is not the one that was in Forza 4. This is the new 2013 MX-5. Now, I could go with the, um... Wait, back. I didn't want to do that. Um, 
let's see, how do I filter? Not filter, um, here, toggle, no, 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 no. No, I want to see, I don't, there we go, That that's what I wanted to see. So, the most power here is going to come from the, uh, is going to come from the one, uh, the one M. Which means it's going to be the best for drifting, but, but, the chassis of the GT86 or the BRZ is amazing for drifting as well, and, I mean, the, the Miata is just, is just a classic, so... You know what? We're gonna go with uh, the GT86. The, well, GT86 slash FRS slash whatever you want to call it. These are designs pulled from the cloud, recommended just for you. As you use more designs, this list... Interesting. That's about all I could say. Eh. Meh. Oh. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That looks sweet. And then there's just a car uh, carbon fiber hood. And then a sort of weird Xbox logo thing. Uh, let's go with the... Dude, let's go with this one. This thing is sweet. I don't know if it'll just apply the... Oh, man. That looks... That actually looks really good. That looks really good. I'm gonna take that. Your first car is free. As you progress through the career, you will earn credits that can be used to buy more cars. I know this already. I played Forza before. Let's go. I hit the A button uh, earlier, but for some reason it didn't seem to uh, register. Can't wait to turn all the assists off. This is your 2013 Toyota GT86. You better believe it is. And it looks like you can paint stock wheels. So let's see. Call wait, 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 wait. I guess I have to wait for this voice to finish. Your first career takes you on a journey to five of the world's great racing venues. All right, the Bernie's Alps. I remember this place. I think everybody remembers this place. Dude, look at that. Man, I can't wait to I can't wait to play the game and actually see and feel all the improvements over Forza 4. I really, uh, it's it's gonna be sweet. Or at least I, I'm really hoping it is. Wow, even the detail on the signs, that's crazy. Alright, we're ready. We are ready. Using Drivatar technology, you are always racing against real people with their real tendencies, delivered from the cloud. Knowing pe the people on my friends list, all the Drivatars are going to just smash into me. <laughs> so, alright, assists. That features several assists to make driving approachable for everyone. Custom, uh, suggested line, off. Braking, ABS off. Steering, we can have sim or normal. I'm used to normal from Forza 4, so we'll stick with that. Traction and stability control completely off. Shifting manual, manual with clutch. And let's see, simulation damage. Let's, yeah, you know, yeah, let's go ahead and stick with simulation damage. I'm going to play this the right way. And let's go ahead and start it up. Dude, these freaking, like, I don't know if they're, like, pit crew or what, but they look, like, really good. The graphics look really good. Let's go. So it's the third. Dang, it sounds amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got some understeer. Holy crap, I'm drifting, I'm drifting, I'm drifting. I didn't mean to drift, but I did. There we go, there we go, there we go. Oh, crap. No, get the tail back. Yes. It's just drifting. We're in a, like, only 200 horsepower car, and we're sliding. Makes me wonder what 500 horsepower cars are going to feel like. Crap. Well, you can see the broken window glass now. I love the feel of the, of the brakes from the trigger. Swinging the back end around again. 
Oh god, that golf is out of control. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Almost went bumped into that RX-8. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Into the tunnel. Yes, he braked way too early. Way too early. Getting way too far on the inside, but I don't really care. But Oh, there's another drift. Yes. Oh, yes. I love the handling. I love the handling. Just drifted around all the way. I freaking ad adore this handling. It's amazing. And you just get on the power and it goes. And it's a, only a 200 horsepower GT86. No upgrades on this thing at all. I absolutely love this. Absolutely love it, guys. It feels so much more real than Forza 4. And this transitions! Those transitions! I mean, I knew drifting was going to be the first thing I tried when I got my hands on this game, but I had no idea it was going to be so easy. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 Mr. S2000. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You're staying away from me. Dude, that's Fail Race. That's Fail Race's Drivatar. That's fa He's He might be actually pretty hard to beat. Slow down, slow down, slow down. Tail's gone out again. My Drivatar's going to be drifting all over the place. Slap Trains probably is, too. Come on, come on. Into fifth. Getting the tail out again. Catching it. It's so easy. I don't know if it's just this car or what, but it's so easy. Let's see if we can hit some e-brake action in a minute. Start an e-brake drift. But to be honest, it doesn't feel like you really have to. Alright, down to fifth. Whoa, clutch kick. Oh, no, clutch kick didn't work. Trying to clutch kick. There we go. There we go. That clutch kick worked. There, that was an e-brake drift. Oh my god, yes, dude. That was sweet. I can't wait to do drifting videos and montages because it feels so amazing. Dang, he is right there. Down to fourth. Oh, don't go wide. I went wide. I went way wide. Come on, come on, come on, GT86. Do not let Fail Race get this. Do not let Fail Race get this. Come on. Come on. Up the hill. I can feel the lack of power in this car, and he's hitting VTEC right now. Which is not good for me, because I don't have anything resembling VTEC whatsoever. Still going to transition these corners. Oh, crap. Definitely rewinding. Not even going to risk it. Definitely rewinding after that. There we go. Transition time. Initiate and bring it back. Whoa, crap. Again, did not want to do that. There we go. How about the how about we not drift right now since he's right behind us? Right back there. Oh man, he dropped back a lot. Looks like we got this. Hopefully. As long as he doesn't hit VTEC. As long as he doesn't hit VTEC, we're good. Come on. Onto the straight, into fifth, coming up on the finish. Go, 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 go. And across the line. Oh yes. Absolutely amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. Amazing. I adore this game already. Every time you race, you win credits and XP. Credits help you buy new cars and upgrades. Alright. Do we get like an A button thing or something? No, it just automatically goes. Never mind. Every time your driver level is driver level up. Been awarded credits. Sweet. Although, even though you don't get free cars anymore, you do get seem to get a lot of money. Like, a lot of money. Hello? Can we, like, continue on? Please? Thank you. <laughs> your Drivatar is collecting data on how you race, how you pass, 
and how you hit each apex. After a few races, your Drivatar will be ready to go out into the community and race on your behalf. Oh man, I can't wait to see what my Drivatar does. Alright. Well, if you guys enjoyed my very first Forza Motorsport 5 video, don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in that comment section below what you thought of it and what you want to see. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe for more Forza 5. There will be multiple videos every single day. And I will see you guys later.